Hi guys, so today we're going to make nothing more than spaghetti sauce. We're going to use up all these tomatoes and cook them down and make a nice sauce with them. If I have too, a lot, which I don't know if I will, but if I had a lot, I'll can them. But otherwise, we'll just have a jar or two for using. So first what I'm going to do is I cut up all these vegetables. So I have carrots, I have some basil from my garden. We got two yellow banana peppers, one green pepper, bell pepper. That's from our garden too. This is uh, one large onion and five mushrooms. Now what I'm going to do is add water to them and let them simmer. Okay guys, so I have the water in, you see. Now you start out with a little bit of water because the vegetables tend to have water already in them. And I start it on high like that. And then I'll reduce it as it starts to um, cook. I'm already cooking my, uh, my linguine. I got two boxes of linguine here. But, um, because I need this pot <laughs> to make my sauce in. So, uh, let's go and continue. Okay guys, so the next step you do is just go ahead and wash your tomatoes. Even though we're doing organic gardening and that we still like to get the dirt off. Although the dirt actually is good vitamins for you. <laughs> but I don't like eating dirt. So just give them a good rinsing. I mean, you know, scrubbing here like this. It don't have to be perfect. Not when you you grew it, so you know. But if you get them from the store, maybe you want to do it extra. Okay, now you're going to rinse your tomatoes after you wash them really well. You might even do a second rinse. Just see the little bit of suds. You just might want to do a second rinse to get all the tomatoes clean. Okay guys, once your tomatoes are all clean and rinsed, you're going to want to take out these stems. So any, like these, and the bottoms. And then you're also going to want to cut, if you have any greens, like mine had some green on it, cut that off too. You don't want to eat that. Like this, little bad spots, cut those out. You can use the rest of the tomato. Cherry tomatoes are probably one of the easiest. You just pop these off like that. And you can throw the whole thing in. They'll cook down. You can cut them in half if you want. You don't have to. Okay, guys. So I cut up what I had. You see this is the scraps. That'll go in my compost. These are really too hard yet. If you fill a tomato and it's really hard, the green, I'm not so worried. You can cut that out. But when it's hard, it doesn't make good sauce. Even if it looks ripe, I mean red, <clears throat> if it's not so, a little soft, these will have to sit and uh, get ripe. So here's what I have so far. Now, these are different kinds of tomatoes. So there's cherry tomatoes, large cherry. They're delicious. We have... Um, I think we have a mortgage lifter in here, and we have a couple of beef steak. We have a small cherry tomatoes. We have a couple of romas, and we also have a couple beef steak. Um, so we're gonna wait because my honey went to the garden to see if there's any more. Because see, it's not quite full, but. But if this is all you have, this is all I have. And then here's the veggies. They're still cooking. They look good. Once they get translucent and tender, that's where you want them. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Because if he brings me any more, we can go ahead. So go ahead and put your stove on. And you're just going to let the tomatoes cook down. And they'll be watery. Some people take out the seeds, but I don't. I find I found that one year I did that, and it was so hard. <laughs> it was such a hard work. 
So what I do is I just cook with seeds in it, you know, because you can eat the seeds in a regular tomato, so you don't have to worry about straining the seeds or whatever. Unless you're very particular and you want them out, you can strain them after they're cooked down. But that's how I'm doing this today. We're going to go ahead and cook this down till it becomes, you know, really soft. Hey guys, this is about five minutes. See how it's starting to liquefy down? That's what you want. You just can squish the tomatoes. Just, you know, make sure that they're all cooking. I keep stirring it. Stir it occasionally. You don't want it sticking to the bottom of your pot. You see how much it cooked down? Remember, we started and it was up to here. Now look how much it cooked down. Because tomatoes are a lot of water. Now, what we'll, I'll do is... um. I'll be adding some tomato paste in here. If you um, have tomato, like mine didn't ripen yet, this is the first batch. So mine, my paste tomatoes haven't ripened yet, but once they start ripening, I should be able to make my own tomato paste too. And this is done. It's just sitting here ready to go in whenever the sauce is ready. And you see how it's... Um, I put carrots because that gives it the sweet flavor. So when you're not using sugar, it's really good. And then um, your onions. I was just waiting to see if my husband coming back from the garden, if he'll have any more tomatoes that I can throw in here. If not, um, then I'll go ahead and throw a potato in. The reason why you throw a potato, now make sure if you get a potato, it can be any kind of potato you use. But make sure you peel it. You don't want any of the peel in there. You just want the regular potato in. And you'll put it in here. That takes the acidity out of your tomatoes so you don't get heartburn. You can do this, um, you know, at home too when you're, when you're um, just making sauce for the day. Uh, you know, for your spaghetti or whatever. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, guys. So now... It's been cooking about 10 minutes. This ain't very much sauce when you saw how many tomatoes I have. I mean, at this point, you could always add tomato sauce out of a can if you wanted, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go ahead and throw my potato in like I told you. And I went ahead and opened a can of tomato paste. We're going to add it to thicken it. Okay, so my potato and tomato paste is in. Now I'm going to add two cans of this water. Just add two cans of water. Now we're going to go ahead and let that on low. I have it on two. I'm going to let that go ahead and cook. Let it cook about, well, since it's such a small amount, I'd say 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to add the veggies. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys, this has been cooking a little while. And I had to put this back on because my um, carrots weren't tender enough for me so I'm doing that now I'm going to show you how to sweeten your sauce without using sugar so see I buy these dates for $4.99 you get a big bunch of them and they're all pitted that's what they look like they almost look like medjool but they're not see I'm going to take about 15 of these and we're going to put it in my um, Blendtec blender Okay, now that I got them in there with one cup of water, I'm going to go ahead and blend this on high. We're going to check it to make sure it's not um, chunky. You see, little bits of chunks. So we're going to go ahead and blend it a little bit more until the chunks disappear. Because you want them to be, you know, smooth.
See, now we're going to just take it and pour it into our sauce. As this thickens, it'll get, um, it'll get, what do I want to say, less runny. It won't be runny. It thickens up. That is a wonderful thing about cooking with dates. You see? Now this actually turned the sauce a nice orange color. And it'll thicken nicely. See how the tomatoes are all cooked down now? This is about where you want it. Like that. With spaghetti sauce, you don't rush it. Patience. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add in our vegetables. And since I don't have as much as I thought I would, I may have these little bits of vegetables left over. So I think I will save them. Because, I mean, yes, we want the sauce chunky, but we don't want it over chunky, right? Let's see. Sometimes it's a wait and guess type of thing. Let's see how much I can get in. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and finish it all off and put it all in. Even liquid. Okay, so I went ahead and put them all in. This is what it looks like so far. Mm, looks delicious. Now we're going to go ahead and add some seasonings. You can use whatever you like, but I'm going to go ahead with Italian seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder. Okay, so here's how I do my seasonings. Like that. Here's the onion powder going in. And, oops, I forgot to take the lid off my Italian seasoning. There we go. Italian seasoning. Like that. We already have the basil in from the garden. Now, at this point, you want to go ahead and give it a little taste. Also, you don't want to eat this potato. This potato actually will get wasted. Unfortunately, because it'll be filled with acid, but it'll save your stomach in the long run. Okay, guys, I just tasted it. I think it needs a little more garlic powder. I'll just go ahead and add a little more onion powder, too. And we'll go ahead and give it another stir. The sauce is ready. Mm, doesn't it look good? Now, at this point... Go ahead and shut it off and remove the potato. Come out of here. <laughs> You'll throw that potato away. And then you can go ahead and uh, you can either can it if you want to save it for another time or you can eat it. You know, you can. I have ball jars that are clean, and that's what I'll do. I'll pour, once it cools, I'll pour some of it into the ball jar, and I'll save it. See how many, if I, when I get a big batch of tomatoes, I'm going to do the exact same recipe, but um, I'll have enough to can for the winter. But this is the beginning of canning season, so we're kind of late up here in the north. But hopefully you like this little recipe. I think I'll show you what it looks like on some sauce. I mean, on some spaghetti, on some linguine that I cooked. Okay, guys, here it is, all plated up. Doesn't that look delicious? We got some tofu in there with some linguine noodles. And on top, I put nutritional yeast, which tastes like cheese. And then we have a garden salad fresh tomatoes, cucumbers from our garden, the purple um, cabbage from our garden. The lettuce isn't, but 
So I highly recommend you trying this um, spaghetti sauce and let me know what you think. Okay, have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.